Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. It's a Bayafo again. I am here at uh, Uki Miyoshi's house in the mist. Got a nice sized medium here. Uh, Uki, is this a uh, FC house or a private? It's a private house. Nice. Definitely took advantage of the new housing wards when they came out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was right on top of that. Unfortunately, I missed everything in the mist, right? So I, I ended mm. up getting a place in the goblet. Ah. Uh, but that's all right. We've got the happy little chocobo stable here. Oh. Uh, see, I like what you did with the oriental bench. Yeah, um, I felt like the, the bench itself was kind of plain. <laughs> so taking the flower arrangements and, and making it work around it so it actually just gives it a little bit more character was really nice. Yeah. Um, and also, you, like, you'll see not only with that bench, but with pretty much everything, especially the inside of the house, mm -hmm. um, it is very Japanese oriental themed. Nice. So there, there was a, pre -consi a pre-consisting theme and it was followed through very well. Um, well, you, it'll look kind of bare inside, but trust me, there's like 120 pieces of furniture down of, of the max 150, <laughs> so it nice. is kind of bit. All right. Well, I do like the yard, though. Um, you know, you don't have it so crowded up that you can't get through here. Um, the cherry blossom trees here and the felt mat, of course, which I love those. I'm so glad they got those on the mock station for those of us who didn't do the uh, holiday events those years ago. Yeah, and I mean, I will say the greatest thing about them doing that is them getting the trees on there, because those trees have just skyrocketed in price because they've been selling for all these years, but most people didn't, you know, sell them. Yeah. Uh, originally. I mean, like, you know, 13 million uh, gil, that's, that's a lot for a tree. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go take a look inside. This looks awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah, with the tatami flooring. Yep, the tatami mat flooring. Uh, that was kind of a pain when I was actually first making this house because there was almost no materials on the market board for it. Right. I had to actually go through a bunch of board skins in order to get the materials oh. and farm it all up. So it took a while. Um, but it was fun. Um, but as you see, we have, like I said, a very oriental style. Because... The theme of this is actually not just Oriental, it's Oriental B&B. &B. Oh, so, okay. as you see, we have our lovely dining area over here. Yeah. With the nice little stove uh, and somebody working it. Um, nice. You have the meals, preset meals. Um, using the uh, cushions for sitting slash kneeling at the tables instead of the traditional chair that you would see at a regular everyday table. Right, right. And uh, the oriental uh, tables there, nice and low to the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. tr traditional style. Yep, and then you'll see, I think I put a different type of meal on each one. I put the sup the oriental supper on the on this table right here, while I put the uh, tea set over on the other one. Very so. nice. And then we have our nice, lovely check-in area. Ah. This was a kind of a unique situation for me. <laughs> I, tr I tried to make this work. Um, originally, I was like, what goes there that kind of has that oriental feel to it? That I can, you know, customize a little bit. Yeah. And it was the Order of Now th uh, Thald Ledger. Yeah. And it was like, that's the closest thing I could find. And I'm like, but there's so much space to customize around it. And that's why the bonsai trees work really well with it. They and, really uh, do. They look nice. And then, the, you know, it looks like it's burning incense all the time. Exactly. Yeah. And then, as you can see, like, around all the walls, you've got a lot of the wall scrolls and the wind chimes. Just give it a little bit more of that flavor. Yeah, um, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, the oriental shrine over here to your left mm -hmm. is just some simple you know put the summoning bell in front of it to make it more look like you know it's an offering you make your prayer to the shrine and you ring the bell afterwards mm -hmm. just something different yeah so i like that yeah. 
Now, the question is, do you want to see the bedroom section of the B&B, or would you like to see the management's personal section of the B&B first? Uh, that's up to you. You take me wherever you want to go. All right. Well, let's go down to the guest section. Right. As you see, it's it's going to, like I said, very simplistic, very small. Again, to Tommy Matt Flooring's theme throughout the house. Yeah. Um, so, Japanese love playing shogi. Well, we don't have shogi in Eorzea. <laughs> What's the closest thing we have? Triple triad. Triple triad. Nice. So I have a nice little triple triad table there for people that want to come and play. Um, also have our little ba uh, bathing area with the hot tub here. Mm -hmm. um, the oriental hot tub. I kind of wish that you could put more than one of them in the, into a housing area, but unfortunately they only allow you one. Right. Uh, so I decided to give that to my guests, and you'll see what I mean later on when we go upstairs. <laughs> okay, so now here's the piece de resistance. Okay, we have the wall here, or and set up the nice doors, so we have two separate room sections. Uh -huh. they're, they're they're you know mirror images of each other. But as you see, very nice basic bed over here, and then you've got on the wall a shelf with the incense, a nice lamp, and a uh, a bonsai tree. Nice. Just just for something peaceful, relaxing. Especially since, as it is, theoretically, guests of the B and B would be by the beach, so they'd be there most of the day. So what do they need a bunch of stuff in their rooms for? Exactly. And like I, like I said, just mirror image on the other side. Very nice, it, though. And then we'll go upstairs. Okay. Uh, as you can tell, I had to put some place to put the or the orchestrion here, and I picked the Whisper of the Land because, it, as you can tell, it's got that very Asian flavor to it, yeah. like mellowed Asian flavor. Now we're upstairs, and this is the office slash clan area slash my personal room. <laughs> um, so we have the nice. Low to the ground table with eight cushions, just very simple, easy, and it it look good. Mm -hmm. um, over here we have our the royal plotting table. Yep, yeah. I've got the maid over here with our serving area mm -hmm. for serving main people that come up here. As you see, I put the little oriental partition. It's nothing fancy, um, but it divides out so you know there's something behind it. And we end up with our simple bath back here. Uh, um, like right. I said, this, this, yeah, I mean, I felt of the other bath options I had available because of the oriental one only being one per house. Right. This definitely felt the closest to the style of options we had. So. And then. It matches everything that's in here, too. So that's it, nice, too. It really does. And I'm kind of glad about that. And now, the final piece that we have is the actual, like, sleeping quarters that I have. Okay. Um, as you see, I've got my nice unending journey here. And another cushion just specifically for making it look like I'm, you know, writing entries into a journal. Very nice. And I just, I've loved the way that this has turned out. And I know I spent a lot of time on it. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I think when I had my small house before this housing district opened up, mm -hmm. I think my small house I spent like six hours on designing originally. And then when I was able to afford this one and pick it up, um, I think I spent another five to six hours converting everything from the small house to make it work here. Nice. So you had a, a similar theme at your little at your other house? At my my small house that I had before the housing expansion. Yeah. All right. So, but yeah, there's definitely been a lot to the, these floors. Um, the thought process, and like I said, there's already 120 of the 150 allotted items. Uh -huh. I feel like with Kuragane coming out, you know, the fact that we go to Doma and we're going into a very oriental themed area, there's going to be so much more that could be put into this and really expand upon it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, part of the reason that I'm doing these videos is to kind of kind of showcase what people have already done with the limited amount of spaces that were given for the houses. Um, 
And then what I'd like to do is uh, after uh, we expand um, into uh, Stormblood, I'd like to come back out and uh, if you added anything to the house, I'd like to film it again. Oh, absolutely. Um, like like I said, the big thing for me is, is I'm probably going to be trying to take advantage of the housing transfer locations mm -hmm. to transfer this into Kuragane, yeah. just simply on the fact that it makes more sense with the oriental style housing that they've previewed already and there's going to be a lot more stuff that they're going to release with the fact that you're in an oriental themed city mm. that will make this pop a lot more i feel i hope so i really do i hope that they don't just you know double our double our slots and then just keep us with the same furniture um Hopefully they'll give us a lot more crafted uh, stuff as well as things that we can buy off of the uh, state manor uh, maid servants. So I'm like really looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do know that that was one of the things I ran into a lot of issues with was there weren't too many things to craft that were that d definitely fell into the Oriental style. It was making other things that you know had somewhat of a feel to it or, or a, some you know matching pieces yeah. to make it fit. And if if we get a lot more craftability into that, and I mean, as it is, like the wind chimes, all the wall scrolls, a lot of the stuff in here is stuff that you have to buy from NPCs. Yep. So, like, there's there's very minimal that you can do to make it very creative, but at the same time, as you see, I've already taken like the first steps to really do so. Yeah, you really did a great job in here. I I, uh, I applaud you. It's it's not stupid busy. It's it's uh, it's calming. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, I appreciate the compliment. I definitely, yeah. uh, definitely, like I said, I love the, the housing. Um, I'm a, I'm a big raider, but at the same time, when I, when I'm, you know, frustrated or something like that after a long day of work, coming, coming to my personal house, doing some design on it, or you know, even just relaxing in it, it's nice. Well, thank you so much for letting me come out tonight and uh, and do this for you. I oh. really appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's absolutely my pleasure. Yeah, you are welcome. And uh, guys, if you like what you saw, throw me a like, a comment down in the uh, towel section below. If you'd like me to come out and uh, take a look at your place. Uh, this is Abayafo. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you guys have a great night.